Yeah, I just want to say I'm sorry. Um, you know, last night I made a mistake and said the word that should never, ever be said. And um, you know, there's no excuse for that. You know, I wasn't raised that way. You know, it's just an awful thing to say. And I feel very sorry for my family, my friends, my partners, the NASCAR community, and especially the African American community. You know, I understand the damage is probably unrepairable, and you know, I own up to that. Um, but I just wanted to let you all know how sorry I am. And, you know, I, I hope everybody is, is staying safe during these crazy times. Thank you. So this is Kyle Larson. And uh, he said, you know what he said. He said, nigga, on uh, stream during, you know, lockdown. And now he's out here with the apology. Oh, my goodness. Oh, whoa, it's me. I wasn't raised like that, guys. And I'm just like, seriously, seriously, corporate America, we going to keep pretending like you give a shit. Like, honestly, I, I, like, I am sick of this because as a african-american or descendant of actual slavery because when because black people in this country is just it i really don't think that there's many that many of us descendants actually truly left if we gonna keep it a buck but yeah this is um oh go away person uh but this is a uh just a, another example of this happening over and over and over again where you know somebody in the heat because let's be real it's a part of the culture the word in and of itself particularly propagated through hip-hop is a part of the culture and guess what that culture has never been ours as far as the sentence is concerned and what uh you know the media portrays us as or uses our image our, our image to you know to push forward that's never been our call. So, like, as far as I'm concerned, it's it's no point in getting, like, bent out of shape over it because it's just a word. We have this thing in the United States called freedom of speech where, by all means, like, if you want to say, say, I don't care. I really don't care because how is Mr. Larson here apologizing and being suspended from his job and the whole and, and all that stuff because that's that's really where it comes from the all, all this uh contrition comes from is the fact that like yeah yo you about to you about to get suspended you about to get spanked for it but the deal is is that he shouldn't be getting spanked for it because it's just a word it's not a poverty rate it's not uh it's not the the fatherless uh, epidemic it's not the welfare state it's not none of the real problems that we have yet everyone wants to get upset about it why why? What does him saying that word do to you or do for you? Absolutely nothing, except for if you're in the woke crowd, you know, the, the Tariq Nasheeds and the the, 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 the the swindlers and the grifters of the world. And yeah, that gives you something to just bitch about. But ultimately, all that bitching does is put money in your pockets. But as far as the collective, as far as, you know, descendants in and of themselves, because, no, if you if you Jamaican or if you Haitian, if you if you if, if that's not in your blood, if getting that 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 whip put to your back ain't a part of the ain't a part of your family history, then guess what? Nah, you why would you even begin to get upset about that shit? Seriously, if you're listening to the, listening to this and you're a descendant of some place in, uh, you know, if you're to be a descendant from the Caribbeans, when I will have you, why would that upset you so? Because of what it represents, you know what it don't represent. It don't re represent these these generations of us that have been destroyed via the via the welfare state. Does it? It doesn't represent the the endless families torn apart by the drug war. Now, does it? It don't represent none of that shit. But for some strange reason, everybody wants to get upset because, oh, some random celebrity, quote unquote, says it. This man races, uh, 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 drives in NASCAR. Good on him. I love NASCAR. Weirdly enough. I, yeah, I like it. I like the crashes more than anything else. But like, yo, sure, I, I, I can enjoy a race. Because it's about that all American atmosphere. That same thing that, you know what? Those weapons help build. The same thing that those, those getting those hoses turned on, turned on them, turned on folks for just trying to sit in the same uh, restaurant and the like, and having people beat the hell out of getting getting all those ass weapons. It sat there. It, they they did that for that, so we can all come together and enjoy these types of things. But you have these opportunists, man. 
These opportunists who see, hey, it, oh, oh, huh, somebody, he said a no-no word. So now, and guess what? Those opportunists, they come in all damn colors. White, black, green, blue, purple, all of them. Oh, I'm a, I, I'm Caucasian. My goodness, I'm oh so offended by it. You know what? That's just your own guilt. That, that, that's, that really is your own white guilt. Get over that shit. Get over what your ancestors did. Because we got to worry about what we doing right here, right now. And you know what this does? Absolutely nothing. Let's read this article. Golly, I'm irritated now. Kyle Larson was suspended indefinitely by NASCAR on Monday for using a racial slur on a live stream during a virtual race. Chip Ganassi Racing also suspended Larson without pay. The star driver said there was no excuse for his comment and apologized in a video posted on his social media accounts. I've made a mistake and said the word that should never, ever... Be. Why not? Nigga, freedom of speech. Freedom of speech, like, by all means, it, it ain't hurting nobody. It only gonna hurt somebody's feelings. And you know what? We're past that point. We are past the point of, of caring about people's feelings because we got way too much of it. That's why this whole thing is all out of, bent out of shape as it is. Oh my goodness. No excuse for that. I wasn't raised that way. It was an awful thing to say. I feel very sorry for my family, my friends, my partner, and the NASCAR community, and especially the African American community. Yeah, it's bruh, bruh. It don't even. Don't even. I do videos every week or so where it's just like <laughs> that African American community, quote unquote, black people. Yeah, it's bruh. It, 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 I grew up in it. I know this shit. No, no, you don't even worry about that. Don't don't feel very sorry for us at all. At all the damage that's been done. You, that's the thing. All the damage that's been done to our community. When I would have you, you ain't had nothing to do with that. Trump ain't had nothing to do with that. Your mayors, your your city council people. Those are the ones that had something to do with it. And unless you go in that day next, yeah, 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 you, th these these thirty and forty life law, thirty forty year, um, you know, Congress council people and and the like, the the people who uh, freeholders and all like that, the 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 political uh situation going on in your neighborhood and your community, that's where your uh where all this anger and vigor should be pointed at, not to some guy who just said a word while the, who said a word that a lot that's real edgy on the internet and they, people say it all the damn time. It's in the music. It's part of the culture. It's a part of American culture at this point. Cut this shit out, man. This is stupid. I understand the damage is probably irreparable. Bruh, what damage? Who did you hurt? Who did you cut? Who did you kill? No one? We're fine, my dude. And I own up to that. But I just want you to let you all know how sorry I am and hope everybody is staying safe during these crazy times. Yeah, we just heard all that shit. NASCAR ordered Larson to complete a sensitivity training course before he's eligible for reinstate. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. And you know what the thing is? Is that black? Uh, like, honestly, as a black man, as a man. As a man who had his father, as a man who had a grandfather, uncle, so many other men, I, I, I feel really, really safe in saying that they could care less. Th th this, no, no, that, like, that, like the position that I take is one that they would hold. No, like, they, what does, what, how does this help fix anything? How does this help a poverty rate? How does this help a community, uh, you know, stave off gentrification or be a part of the gentrification in some type of meaningful and economic, uh, and economically satisfying way? It don't ask none of those questions, none of them. So the n this is all mute. All of this is pointless. My goodness, it's just NASCAR sitting there virtue signaling, and when in reality, NASCAR's racist as shit. We know this. <laughs> like, come on, yo. But it's uh, but it is what it is. You, 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 progress is progress. But this right here, this ain't positive progress. More like it's more just is a virtue signal. He has to enter, undergo a sensitivity training. NASCAR has made diversity and inclusion a priority and will not tolerate the type of language used by Kyle Larson during Sunday's iRacing event. NASCAR said in a statement, Our member conduct guidelines are clear in this regard, and we will enforce these guidelines to maintain an inclusive environment for our entire industry and fan base. And before you jump in the comments, start talking about, well, you know, he works for NASCAR, and he, it was clearly a NASCAR event. Yeah, yeah, Larson, eh, you're pretty stupid for that because I mean we all know we all know the rules of the game right now. But the deal is, is that I'm coming from the angle that I feel like the rules are jacked up because at the end of the day, this doesn't help anybody. It's just a gigantic virtue signal for NASCAR. Look at how in inclusive we are. I, I did a video 
about a year ago with um this one the, the first black woman to own a car in nascar all right nascar thank you nascar you we got that one so all this rest of the stuff we believe you okay we believe you your white guilt isn't showing at all nascar <laughs> Our member conduct guidelines are clear in this regard, and we will enforce the guidelines uh, to maintain an inclusive environment for our, indi- our entire industry and fan base. Larson was also suspended indif- indefinitely by iRacing. iRacing considers itself to be a welcome and inclusive community for racing enthusiasts all around the world. We have strict policies against offensive lang- uh, behavior and language. Kyle Larson's language last night during a streamed online event or lo- online race was both offensive and inappropriate and in violation of our sport- sporting code. As such, Kyle Larson has been suspended indefinitely from the iRacing service, it said in a statement. That's the thing, though. Like, I, I, if, if it was a virtual thing, then he's more he's feeling more at home. Like, I guess playing, uh, <laughs> playing all like playing like a video game, and it, we all know how those chat rooms could 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 well used to be uh, back in the day. Not anymore because oh my goodness, the 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 sensitivity police came through and decided they wanted to pussify everything. Um, Larson was competing in an iRacing event last Sunday when he appeared to lose to lose communication with his spotter on his headset during a check of his microphone. Larson said, uh, "You can't hear me." And then was fi- oh, oh, that's what you can't hear me. You can't hear me. <laughs> he was just quoting a rap song, bro. He was doing an edgy sprint commercial. <laughs> We are extremely disappointed by what Kyle said last night during the iRacing event, blah, 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 blah. One week earlier, Bubba Wallace rage quit an official NASCAR iRacing event televised live nationally, and his sponsor fired him immediately. While Wait, what happened? Okay, yeah. Wallace uh, had been wrecked and fed up, quit the game. He admitted on Twitter that he was out of anger, that... that that it was out of anger. Blue Inu, a topical pain reliever that had sponsored Wallace for the virtual race and has an association with him for NASCAR races, replied to the tweet by firing Wallace. Okay, so... So did he say the... Hold on, because, wait, they fired and he rage quit an official... But did he say the word? Oh, oh, well... What does one got to do with the other then? If he ain't say the word, then why are you even bringing up the... Oh, because you need uh, you need to fill in space here for a pretty meaty article. Deal is, is that I think I've made the point that I needed to make on the whole Kyle Larson thing. Um, and when it, in regards to free speech, I don't think that it should be something that gets anybody in trouble. I'm sorry. This is just like a gigantic, like I said, it's a gigantic um, virtue signal from NASCAR and all of these others um, and all these other what's the word uh these other companies or sponsors that you know oh my goodness like look how inclusive and diverse we are and everything else like that when in reality bruh you're not doing anything it doesn't help anyone it's just something to make them feel better it has nothing to do with you know oh writing the wrongs of past it, 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 like please if you, if you can come up with a way in which this writes any of the wrongs of the past by all means, let me know. But I'm, I've always been a more future focused person and I'd rather, you know, like, uh, instead, like, okay, yeah, we, at this point, we know just slap, a slap, a slap on the wrist if you have to, even though I'm just like, I don't feel like it should be taken any kind of way at all by anyone. And if you want to really sit here and have a debate with me, who has been to his family's plantation, see, that's the thing. Before you come in here in, in my comments, Cornell West talking about, oh, you just don't know the past. Bruh, I've been to the past. I've seen my family's past. I'm a direct descendant, my guy. And I can tell you that it is what it is. It doesn't fit. You can't, I can tell you that it does nothing to solve any problems that we currently face. So why even bother with it? Because that's because that's the only way you can really help fix the future is by focusing on it right now. But we've spent the past 30, 40 years so focused on the past that the future and the present is as, is completely as blasted. So you guys let me know what you think in the comments. All right. All the Internet stuff. If you like to toss it a like, dislike, go ahead. Do that too. Nobody's scared of you. Sub. If you enjoy my fantastic voice and want to get videos like this every single day, share it because sharing is caring and YouTube and bitch you don't like. Aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons? Bang the bell for notifications and speak. Let me know. What do you guys think in the comments? Uh, I, like I I, I I am a free speech absolutist i like i really love the constitution i really love what it's supposed to represent i know it hasn't always represented that thing for all peoples i'm not unaware of that but i feel as if as a country as a nation the one thing we do do (laughs) 
is try. And if you disagree, that's what my comment section is for. All right. Until the next one.